Hello Wanderers fans, uh, this is the first piece of video we've done for you, uh, so hopefully you'll appreciate it. This is the official draw of the Facebook fans giveaway, so I've spent this morning cutting up all of your names, 125 people, and folding them onto paper, putting them in the official uh, Wanderers mug, as you can see, uh, there's no hole on the bottom, and all of your names are in there. So I will now draw a name out of the hat for the first prize. So the first prize will be this gorgeous matching pink Wanderers club tie. So the winner will be, the winner, first winner is Mr. Chu Polger. Can you see that? Here we go. That is your first winner. You, most lad, have won a tie. Uh, I'm sure you'll wear it well. The second prize that I'll be drawing if you can uh, see this. This is the official medal we created for the, all the Wanderers players for the Wanderers versus Royal Engineers match on the 15th of May 2010. Uh, it is probably metal. It looks like metal. It might be plastic. I can't guarantee the product quality. So, another shake. The next name out of the hat is... Oh, that's not one. Here we go. It is... Ollie Holes Breffitt. Ollie, well done. You have won yourself a medal. Uh, I hope you treasure it and appreciate it. There are plenty uh, of people who would be, love to be in your shoes. So the next prize will be a very modest prize, but a, one, a UNICEF balloon and stickers. So you can obviously stick them on wherever you like, blow them up and stick them wherever you like. So uh, I'm sure whoever wins will appreciate those. Hopefully it's not someone with a very expensive postage costs, uh, but it will be. Let's open this one. Uh, what does this one say? The use of the internet is amazing. Oops. So that is Emad Mohammed. Well done. You have won yourself a UNICEF balloon and UNICEF stickers. Uh, the next prize, this, if you can see, there we go. This is a program we produced for the Wanderers vs UNICEF game. Uh, it was the first game we played at Kennington Park back in 2010. A uh, photograph on the front is from the, Unis uh, the, sorry, the Wanderers vs Royal Engineers game we played a few months before. So the winner of this exceptional programme, of which there are only a few left, will be... Let's turn that around. You can see that. Uh, Mr Darren Tracy. Mr Darren Tracy, I will be presenting this to you at the match today, as you have been selected. You can certainly in the squad, so uh, I won't tell you whether or not you'll be actually in the team, but uh, one of the players has won something. I can't, I can't say we haven't uh, done our best to make sure they don't win, because it would be a little bit unfair, but unfortunately they're in the hat, as they are all fans. Uh, if you're a player and you're not a fan, you're watching this, then you should bloody well be a fan. Uh, so, the next prize, which will be a player's handbook. Now, this is only available to players. Uh, there's plenty of information in there about the club and about the team and what we're doing this year. Uh, so, let me, I've just pulled it out of the hat, which I've done it in the wrong order, but we'll do it anyway. So, the winner for this prize will be uh, another ex-player here, uh, Mr. Gerard Duffy. Gerard, well done, mate. Uh, you have won that. Uh, Gerald played for us against the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, which is our record defeat, uh, but I'm sure he doesn't mind me telling you that. The next prize is going to be this excellent uh, top quality photograph of the team as we formed up against Royal Engineers. Uh, as you can see there, all of the best players, um, all those that turned up on the day. So, the next prize winner will be... Let's get right in there. Prize winner will be... <laughs> The rapid man with the pink boots himself, John Claude Meta. You have just won yourself a photograph uh, that doesn't feature you, but does feature the wonderful Wanderers and the wonderful Wanderers kit. So well done to you. Uh, the prize, well, two prizes left, and these are the big prizes. So hopefully we've got rid of the chaff, and now here's the real wheat. So first up is your very own UNICEF T-shirt in lovely blue, uh, bearing the logo on the front and on the back. Um, very much in demand, and we very much appreciate UNICEF donating these to us. Um, we obviously raise money for them, and in, in uh, response, they've helped give us a few bits and bobs that we can now give away in this uh, great presentation. So, again, drawing a name out of the mug, uh, we have ah, Andy Tracy. Andy Tracy, if you can see your name there, there you go. Just a bit closer, there we go, magic of the internet. Uh, you have won yourself a UNICEF t shirt, so congratulations to you. Um, all of the winners, by the way, I'll contact you via Facebook, and of course, then what we'll do is you can get in touch and tell me your address, and we'll post them out to you. So, before I draw that one out, the final prize, this is the key big prize. This is a rather expensive, a very posh, 
uh, fleece and wool scarf made by Double Blue with Luke Hares, uh, who made a few for us. This is in the official Wanderers colours. It's our uh, original kit colourway, so pink, black, and orange and gold. Um, there's only one left. There's only one left. There's a bit. There's only six ever made. Um, so this one is a big prize. So let's give it a big shake. And the winner for this, the winner for this will be. Let's draw one out. The winner for this. I can't give it in. I'm afraid I've pulled my name out. That's my name. It's a bit unfair. It's a bit unfair. So let's try one more. Who is this? Ah, Mr. Harry Foges who will be appreciating the prize, having, having just come back from South America, he's probably feeling the cold more than most. So Harry, well done, you've won the scarf. Um, congratulations to all of our winners. Uh, I will post your names up on Facebook, and uh, and obviously you've seen this video, hopefully, so you'll already know you're a winner, but uh, you can then share that with your friends. Uh, and again, thank you very much for supporting Wanderers. Um, we appreciate all of your help in terms of making us a bigger and better team. And if you can come down and watch us play, uh, that'd be great. We're playing our home games at Bel Air Park this season on Saturday afternoons. So. Keep your eyes on the site and we'll try and post up the fixes as much as possible. Thank you and have a great day.